Hi there everybody, this is MSM. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do this uh, vlog today because uh, I've just been back from uh, seeing my neurologist at the hospital and uh, I wanted to film myself in the hospital but I was too chicken to do it. Um, I've basically uh, just got my first prescription for the immunosuppressant drug that I'm going to take and uh, I've, I've done all the exams that I had to do, like um, I went to the dermatologist uh, to see if I didn't have any moles uh, that could turn cancerous and I had also um, a sort of full spectrum blood test uh, to see whether or not I was pregnant, whether or not I had like, I think, uh, other diseases that might turn bad uh, if I take this thing and the medication is called uh, Cellcept. Uh, I'm feeling a bit weird right now because, um, you know, th this is the moment that, uh, well, I'm supposed to think, well, good, I'm, I'm starting my treatment. However, I don't know how I'm going to stand it, how my body is going to react to this. And I'm going to be monitored. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, in the first week, or the first month, sorry, I'm going to have a blood test um, a week. Then I was going to move on to a blood test a fortnight and then for an another two months after that and then I'm going to have one blood test every month to monitor my blood cells, my white cells especially and see, you know, anyways I'm going to see my neurologist again in September and to, you know, look at uh, how the treatment's been going. So. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit weird because this this sort of stuff that I'm getting, I think, is what uh, they give people with AIDS and things like that, and it doesn't make me feel great. At the same time, lately, I don't know if you watched uh, my other videos, but um, where I was talking about my optic neuritis. Lately, I had a sort of an epiphany regarding my, my disease, and I thought, well, what if I have uh, another optic neuritis and my left eye is affected and I can't actually see anymore and the fact that my right eye hasn't recovered and it's been over five months now that I've had the thing um, just makes me think well I better start this treatment and see what's going on however because it's such a, um, a drastic thing and it's going to affect my immune system uh, I'm wondering whether or not it's going to mess with my general health and apparently I will be more fragile regarding things that lie around like uh, little colds and flus and things like that and uh, I don't want to because um, I've decided to look for a job lately and yeah so yeah I just wanted to you know let you know how I felt I'm feeling odd right now I don't know whether to cry or not because um, you know every time I see my neurologist I'm reminded of my you know the the state of my body and the fact that I have something that not everyone has and that I am fragile in many ways and in a way it's you know putting me you know it's making me face the fact that uh, I have a disease and so far what I'm trying to do is to you know forget that I have it even though it's not possible it's just that um, when I'm at home and stuff and I have this and I think about my disease, I'm like, well, I haven't had a flare in ages, so I'm feeling okay. And then when I'm seeing my neurologist, I, I, I'm confronted with the reality of what it is. So if you're on this medication in particular, uh, you know, don't hesitate to leave a comment or, you know, just tell me, maybe contact me and, you know, let me know how you, you know, how you dealt with it because uh, I'm interested and uh, I'll keep you guys updated with um, you know these pills and what they do to me and yeah hopefully I should be okay with no more flares in the future happening to me but we can't tell you know we can't tell whether or not it, uh, it's going to be efficient so that's another thing that uh, is worrying me anyways um, yeah I'll let you guys know how I get on with this treatment and hopefully I'll speak to you soon okay bye